Recently, in Weber and Waldron's classes, students were taught how to use different annotation marks. Students also used how to incorporate critical thinking elements as they interacted with text. They were investigating thesis statements and trying to evaluate them. Students tried to figure them out using the annotation tools and showing their thinking using the critical thinking elements, asking questions, making observations, looking carefully at the information, making inferences, and also making some assumptions too. Some of these thesis statements were written by Mr. Walburn himself, but the majority came directly from students. Mr. Walburn and Mr. Weber looked back through student papers to decide which ones to pluck to show to all students so that they could have a chance to evaluate them and think about which thesis statements were best and why, what were some of the things that they saw in these thesis statements that they could then try to incorporate into their own when they went back to revise their thesis statement. Students were given several minutes to sit and think and to write their thinking directly on to the 10 thesis statements that they were provided. These 10 thesis statements are actually the exact same ones that 7th graders are going to evaluate before they go to write their point for our second round of the writing prompt this year. Students did an excellent job of showing their thinking, and in doing so, they had lots to share when they did a turn and talk a little bit later on. You can see by this student example that's coming up in just a moment that students really had a lot of valuable ideas that they could then share with peers. Here's now what we're Mr. Wolverine is about to set up a turn and talk for his students. Now, I would like you. Stand up. Go find. There's 23 people here today. So there'll be one group of three. Other than that, go hey, find hey. somebody else. Hey, they can't be someone that's sitting next to you. You gotta cross the lines. Do whatever hey, you gotta hey. do. And when you hey. do that, I want you guys to sit down and talk about numbers one and two. Talk about your observations. Just discuss it, because then we're going to talk about it in this class. Let's go. Move. Really doesn't matter. Just grab a person. Let's go. Only one group of three. Oh, hey, we can be the group of three. We already have one right here. So why don't you just grab here? All you have to do is just have a I have the right date and um, key words such as implications and advancements and media and also add the 19th century and it has the cotton and half and Wait, you look at number eight. I just think that, I guess it's like, okay. I don't know. Because it said, it made Yes, I did that as well. But I, I'm not in 1794 because I thought that that was good dates. Or, or exact dates. No, that's good that they use exact dates. And then, um, so number two, I said, um, upside down face. Just I think the word choice could have gotten some more because therefore slavery increased a lot. They could have used exceptionally or I said, now that students have had some time to share their thinking with their peers, they are ready to share out in a class discussion. Mr. Walburn can either choose to do some cold calling, or he can call on certain students, and any one of them should be ready to provide some sort of answer about their own thinking or that of their peers.